I cover a lot of science fiction and fantasy on this channel, but my favorite book of all time is neither. It is A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. And this video is an open invitation to anyone that watches it to read it with me in April. April Fools, I mean, there's nothing better than this for April Fools. This book won the Pulitzer in 1981. It was a posthumous award because unfortunately, John Kennedy Toole took his own life and then his mom spent over a decade trying to get his book published. And holy crap, not only is this one of the funniest books I've ever read, I think it is the great American novel. It takes place in the early 1960s in New Orleans, and it follows Ignatius, who is the prototype for the modern day incel. And it is so funny. The outrageous things he does, the outrageous cast of characters around him, you really feel like you are in New Orleans. I mean, this book is so New Orleans. Ignatius has a freaking statue in the French Quarter. I need to make my trip to the statue of Ignatius and eat a hot dog. I mean, it's mandatory. A lot of this is just going to be me rambling, but man, this book is so funny. It's so just pure in the way these people are written. It is a perfect encapsulation of the early 1960s in the United States, especially in the South. It's not soul crushing, but you do see the effects of Jim Crow laws and racism and homophobia. It's just such a great cast of characters, such a hilarious journey. Like one of the things that I love most about this book is how incredibly polarizing it is. Half the people that read it think it's the greatest thing ever, and the other half hate it. I think that that just really proves how good of a book it is. It is not poorly written. Everyone that hates this book will not say the book was written bad. They will hate the book because of Ignatius, because he is detestable. Like I said, he is, was the prototype for incels. He is... I think in his late 20s in this book, he left college after getting a master's degree. His mom spent a fortune for him to go to graduate school. And all he does is sit in his room and talk about the destruction of morals and the fall of Western civilization. And he just critiques everything. He, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. He's like hyper conservative in a conservative place. It's just amazing. He's always in these weird situations and all these goofy things are happening and he's just a catalyst for disaster and it is so funny. It is my favorite book of all time. It is my wife's favorite book of all time and I'm almost positive it's my brother's favorite book of all time. We endlessly quote this book and speaking of endlessly quoting the book, the audiobook is a masterpiece. If you read this book, I highly recommend you do it via audio or you try immersion reading and do both. The narrator for this is just a step above everyone else. It's such a wonderful adventure. This will be my fifth reading of the book. I'm also going to read at least one of his biographies that I own because, man, I really want to know more about John Kennedy Toole. One of the things that makes this book so special to me is that there's nothing else like it and there will never be anything else like it. He wrote this and he wrote the Neon Bible. He wrote the Neon Bible when he was like 14 or 15 or something and it was never supposed to be published. I've read that and that book is an exercise in depression and teenage angst. It's good, but it is not this. It is not this masterpiece. And that wonderful writer never had anything else published. So you just have this joy when reading it mixed with just a sadness of knowing that there's nothing else like it. And I want all of you to take this hilarious journey with me for April Fools, and I really hope you'll join me. Let me know in the comments if you've read this or if you're interested in it, and I'll see you next time.